In this video, we'll talk about how the pH sensor works. DF Robot has introduced a series of pH sensors over the years, including the pH sensor for laboratory tests, the pH sensor for industrial use, and the niche pH sensor with spear tip for measuring the pH of wet soil and foods. Also, there are version 2.0 pH sensors that can be powered by 3.3 to 5 volts. So they are compatible with multiple main controllers like Arduino, ESP32, Raspberry Pi, and so on. The equipped signal adapter comes with BNC and gravity interfaces, plug and play, no soldering required. Besides, the sensor output is filtered by hardware and has a low overall jitter. With a pH sensor, you can easily detect the pH of a solution. So what is pH? In chemistry, pH, historically denoting potential of hydrogen or power of hydrogen, is a scale used to specify the acidity or basicity of an aqueous solution. The H in pH stands for hydrogen ions, H+. And the P generally means the negative logarithm of the quantity. Well, we can find that pH values vary among different items in our daily life. How does a pH sensor measure hydrogen ion concentration in a solution? Well, in our previous video, we learned about the electrochemical reaction in gas sensors. Actually, the pH sensor probe also works based on electrochemical reaction. According to the Nernst equation, the hydrogen ion concentration can be converted to electric potential. This is a pH probe. At the bottom of the probe, there is a glass bulb, which utilizes a glass membrane that is sensitive to pH. A probe consists of a measuring electrode, which is usually a thin glass membrane bulb containing a silver alloy electrical wire submerged in a neutral solution of potassium chloride and a reference electrode which also has a silver alloy wire submerged in neutral potassium chloride solution. A difference in the pH of the inner and outer solutions leads to an imbalance in the surface charge on either side of the glass membrane, and this results in potential difference between the two sides, which is the membrane potential. Then the electrical signal will be processed by the operational amplifier and we can get the corresponding pH value on an MCU or PC. How do we use a pH meter? It's easy. Let's try it. Connect the pH sensor. Connect it to the display. And upload the code. Then we get a simple pH meter. DF Robot provides you with the relevant open source software library. Which adopts the two point calibration method and can automatically identify the two standard buffer solutions, simple and fast. After the calibration, the pH sensor is ready for use. Let's detect the pH values of some liquids in our life. Guess, what's the pH of the lemon liquid? How about the milk? And the soapy water? If you're interested in how to calibrate a pH sensor, you can watch our previous video. If this video gets more than 50 likes, we will make a video on the pH calibration principle. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, like, and comment for us.